Hello, Soul Family. Brian here from Trinity Home Healing. Um, today we have on February 24th, 2024, the full moon in Virgo. Um, so I pulled some tarot on the energies for today and I am floored. Oh my goodness. Like I can't believe almost every single card that came out um, was a wand. That's a fiery, fast moving energy. And on top of that, the oracles um, are also indicating a lot of fast movement. So let's take a look and see what we can expect for the energies for uh, the full moon in Virgo. Now, the general message that's coming out with the tarot here today is all about surrendering and releasing to any past you know, trauma, or if there's anything that you're clinging on to from the past, is to like release that and surrender and let go because there's accelerated motion here. There's a lot of fast movement forward. Um, so this is a time to really nurture ourselves and move forward with new creative ideas and new energies. Um, and if we kind of take a look at the dice here, <laughs> I absolutely love this. The moon actually fell out. The moon is kind of that it's at its fullest potential. So the energies are extremely um, intensified. So there could be a lot of uh, you know, people around you or even yourself that maybe there's some heightened emotions, um, heightened energies, just heightened feelings happening. Um, because as the moon's energy intensifies, so does ours. And the full moon represents a physical and the emotional body. So it's kind of um, that reminder that it's time to take our light and our awareness and kind of bring that into our spiritual body um, and our emotional bodies as well. Um, we have with the Oracle, we have moving on an accelerated motion. And on top of that, all of the cards are fast moving. It's wands, it's um, swift energy in the present as well. We, on top of that, we have as well, eight, eight, two, eight. So we can look at the numerology of that shortly, but this is the exact same card in tarot as this one is in the Oracle. So that's a huge symbolism um, that Spirit had those cards come out. So a lot of fast movement happening here. Um, and like I said, with the, with the energies, they can be a little, a little, you know, you might feel sluggish or tired or drained as well. Um, so it can be a little bit of an exhausting time for some of us. Um, but it's really important to plant those new seeds because in the situation we've got the three of wands this is you know making progress making um certain plans getting creative ideas in check um and also like can be ab abroad as well so if you guys are working on a certain business uh business plan for example it's like expanding that out over over the seas and over um certain you know maybe internet platforms um, just trying to get yourself out there as well um, if you're looking to kind of expand business more or less and to kind of take a step backwards um, and go back to the number eights I mean you have eights here twice um, and eight is the energy of the number eight symbolizes prosperity. It's a, it's a wealth number, but it's also a vibration of that kind of hidden personal power, um, you know, determination, recognition. Um, and I feel like you got like this energy is moving forward with planting certain um, certain seeds for certain recognition, growing our business, growing our personal life, growing our connections with family. Um, so that's a really, a really beautiful message in terms of um, the, the double number eights here. Now, if we look at the near future with the number six of, sorry, the six of cups in reverse, this is about kind of um, holding on and not being able to let go of maybe certain situations pertaining to it could be your childhood traumas or just certain family members or friends as well um, because I'm also getting with this with this moving on card um, and your three of cups and the eight of eight of wands this is like I mean if certain relationships in your life are not 
being, if they're not beneficial and they're just draining you, then it's time to maybe move on from anything that's not, you know, serving your highest good, because you also have the number three dice here. And the number three is kind of relating to, um, well, it, <laughs> It's communication as well. A third house is Gemini, but the number 33 house here also can be pertaining to siblings um, and family members of that matter. And it can also be kind of um, a little bit of drama behind the scenes is what I'm getting. Um, so if there's certain things or certain, you know, conflicts I mean, don't partake in them. I mean, just focus on, because the advice here is like focusing on growing yourself spiritually, growing yourself in your business, um, whatever it is that you want to work on manifesting and, and work on that person you're becoming. It's a big message about moving on because it's like, we can't, we can't save everyone. I know some family and friends that are really close to us, they might have a different life path than us. And that's okay. Um, so the six of cups in reverse is kind of that going within, learning how to forgive ourselves, forgive others, um, and surrendering to whatever emotions and triggers are coming up. Um, it could also be a, a lack of playfulness, because if we look at um, you've got a knight of wands, but you also have a page of wands. So, I mean, it's not all play and no work, but it's like bringing that youthful, playful um, energy into the picture so you can plant those seeds and expand your whatever it is you want to manifest into your, your reality with this new moon. Sorry, with the full moon. Um, and having fun, we have in terms of the astrological dice, we have Leo. Now, Leo energy, again, it's this, this is the fire energy, um, Airy Leo, Leo Sagittarius. Um, so it's that passionate, fun, loving energy that can inspire us and transform and get us to that next step and that progression of where we want to be. Um, so overall, really wonderful energies. Again, there might be some sluggishness going on um, with, with the present, like with the situation here. Um, <clears throat> So maybe some sluggishness or tiredness and just exhaustion itself, um, but get some extra rest, you know, have a nice long sea salt bubble bath, um, throw some essential oils in there um, and relax and, you know, maybe light a candle, bring out your journal and write down some manifestations on what you want to bring in um, and attract for this uh, full moon in Virgo. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, one other thing I wanted to kind of throw out there um, is some of the oracles that um, were on the bottom of two different decks. So I feel like this is a message to um, give you guys is I had purification come out on, I didn't draw these cards, but they were on the both two different decks on the very bottom. So and they both caught my eye. So um, I think this is a time to kind of just purify our minds, purify our bodies, like be, be aware of things that you're listening to, things that you're watching, um, and, and even just like certain maybe conversations that you get into with other friends or family members, because if it's just all about negativity and it's help, it's not helping you let go and, and move on, then it's not worth investing your time and energy. Um, but I also feel like this purification is pertaining to eating a balanced diet, getting out there and exercising, just going out into nature um because it's very important to nurture yourself as well so a lot of lovely energies popping out for this full moon um i'm wishing you guys lots of love and blessings and manifestations um and we'll talk to you guys soon okay bye for now